Hello again, people of the internet, and welcome to a new series, Dangan Rampa. Don Gan. Don Don Gan Rampa. Yeah. Don Gan Rampa. This was um, this was Ryan's idea. Because, yeah. Um, um, I'm a very big fan of the series. I am. Let's just say I'm on the hope of I'm on the hope of despair. Um, I'm going in completely blind. I have no idea what's going on. I I have seen the entire game because we need someone that's fresh watching it, and we need someone to know when to fucking progress the story. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, there's no other way to put it, considering you get lost so much. So this looks, and I was telling him before we started recording, this looks a lot like games that I've been playing recently, because I've been playing a lot of Phoenix Wright recently, and I've also been playing um, The World Ends With You Final Remix that just came out on Nintendo Switch. Oh yeah, I love that. I, I got it for mine too. But anyway, of... Uh, the the theme, what I've heard, it's a uh, like psycho pop. Psycho pop. Yeah, but then went for like the horror genre. Mm -hmm. They decided to make it stand out more, like as you see right here. Okay. And instead of like having like red blood and making it all like scary and stuff, the blood is pink. Interesting. Um, you said we should do longer episodes for this. Yeah, because this game is a long experience. Alright, so how long you say? Like an hour? Yeah, about an hour. Like, right. my timer has been set, and let's get into it. Yep. English. Of course, yes. Uh... I Gen mean, gentle. Gentle is easy, kind is medium, and mean is hard. I mean, I kind of got that. What do you think we should do? Um, that's up to you, your play style. Like, most... But I've watched a playthrough of them having it on kind, and it's pretty, it's pretty basic. Like we, we can keep it on kind if you want. Hmm. I think I'm a smart boy. Oh, oh, you want to go in? You want to go in guns blazing? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Get it, guns. Don't get the the. Oh, we're about to see it. Wait. It's that anime thing. Wait, I thought this was from an anime. No, the, the anime is from the game. The game was released before the anime. I haven't seen the anime either. Good. Because the anime sucks. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, okay. it, it speeds up everything in the game without getting to know the characters. I see. Say hello to the first execution. Oh. Well. Uh... This is what the executions are like, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what the fuck is going on? He's being shot into space at high velocity! But why though? Also, what in the heck? Yeah. That was weird. Um, oh. Something tells me he's not gonna survive that. <laughs> yeah, something tells me that too. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Oh. Well, I don't think that's how it works, but okay. Uh, this is the world of Psychopop. You have just been introduced to Monokuma. I see. And you said you wanted to be the Monokuma of the, I, the Well, the thing is, like, I'm kind of the Monokuma of the playthrough because he knows exactly what goes down. I see. So are we going to buy permission of you as Monokuma and me? And who am I going to be supposed to be? The, the main character, Makoto Naegi. By the way, the massive high school towers over all the buildings in this bustling urban area. That's the main character. You want to voice him? Yeah, okay. It's like the school... Should I be like all emo for this? No. He seems like... He's no, no, no. He's, he's, he's normal of normal. Like, no joke. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings top students in from every field imaginable. A government-funded school privilege. They say if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends every cream of the crop into the whole the, into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope. Hope. In the nation's future, yeah. which makes hope's peak. A pretty fitting name. Yeah. <laughs> they always make like, the important where it's like yellow. I love it. Uh, there are two things you need to attend a school. One you have already attended school. High school. Oh wait, that one, you've already attended high school. Uh, that already attending high school, can I speak? <laughs> Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. This is gonna be a good playthrough. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in, the only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students. 
was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. I call him Basic Bitch. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside, just like me! <laughs> and yeah, ain't that right, Basic Bitch? Wow! <laughs> I get it, I get it, I love you, man. I love you, man. All the homo. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> I really don't have much going on for you when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite TV show, they have to choose whatever's most popular or at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even just say I'm your everyday hero type. I'm just who I am, or that's just who I am. Anyway, I think it's good to introduce I think it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But, you know, if you have any kind of strong po you, if you, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the, uh, the in front of anything but ordinary Hope Speak Academy. Okay, I thought it was going to voice act again. No. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. I get this overwhelming per I it, it's got this overwhelming presence. Like it's trying to swallow me whole. It's no wonder I can feel that uh, ah! There's no wonder <laughs> I can feel that way. <laughs> what you have to understand is It's that dang turkey, I tell you. Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Preparation. But also I masturbated in the shower five times. Then I passed out. I had a popsicle stick in my mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hope Speak only invites those students who are truly elite in, the, in their view. It's such a popular topic that there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. All I saw was talk about the ultimate, ultimate, Super Smash Brothers, ultimate students. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fun fact, in Japanese, they're called super high school level. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, uh, America, we have to have the ultimate students. Right. Who are way beyond your average high schooler. For example... Uh, look, wait, before you read it, before you read it, look at the one to the right. Look at the one to the right. Well, look at her face. Okay. Like, does she look like she doesn't want to be here? She looks like she's high. <laughs> Dude, how you guys been? For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. That's the girl in the middle. I guess she's a high school girl who's also lead singer of a, for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was a cleanup hitter. Cleanup? Yeah, the cleanup hitter. Like, I've never heard that term before. I have. The cleanup. He's like the. Like when he's he's really good. He's the one you send in when like you want to win. Incineroar. Yeah, yeah, he does kind of look like that in that picture. <laughs> uh, for the national high school champs, pro teams already have their eye on him. Well, I guess epilepsy warning on that. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. She cute though. I guess. You have to remember, I'm asexual. <laughs> I know, but you can still th still think people are cute. I'm also aromantic. I yes. literally don't have an eye for these things. You're also okay. You know what? You're I also a furry, so that's why I say people. That's true. Also, I don't want to give the wrong idea. There are arrow aces who can think people are cute, just not in a sexual or romantic way. I'm not one of them, though. <laughs> yeah, see, basic and basics. He's he's what Makoto should have been. I guess. So. <laughs> anyway. She's been on the cover for tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Uh, 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 uh okay. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore all that for a second. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. <laughs> Scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate motion <laughs> artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, and the ultimate kitty scratching on my door over here. So, the, 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 the quick question. Yeah. Do you, do you want to do like, do you want to give us like ultimates? Um, 
here's Ryan, the ultimate Mario Party player. Yeah. Except when I get, except when I think I'm gonna give my little nephew. Apparently, Jesus Christ, dude, he destroyed me in Mario Party. Like I had no idea how good he was. Either. Yeah, I and it was the first game too. Like I even beat, I beat Jake, I beat Dalton. Like oh my god, uh, like I was, I was running that board, but I couldn't get Waluigi as my partner. Uh, but uh, Dylan, Dylan is the ultimate Smash player uh, of our friend group, anyway. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I would be. I'm. Ooh, I got you. I'm pretty average at everything. No, oh, I know what you be. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Keep going, keep going. I know what you be. The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I'm not like a tame little house cat who wandered in the pride of lions. Well, I am a tame little house cat. <laughs> Kinky. Whoa. Not like that. <laughs> but still, there's something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there are a few students who I couldn't find any intro on, no matter how much I looked. All those ultimate students, and I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Seem to pop up? Could they just be average students like me, without any talent or anything? I... that... Thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's a bigger issue. How did such unbelievably average students like me get picked to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter to see why they they sent, they sent it to me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. Wow! <laughs> As a result, you, Nick have been selected, and we invite you to join us at the ultimate lucky student! Ultimate lucky student! Skinny! Oh, oh, tr trust me. With For every year, like, when new applicants get in, there's always a new ultimate lucky student. I believe it. Like, and it is, it is fucking hilarious how some of them happen. I spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck! Should I keep reading those highlighted things like that? <laughs> Go ahead, it's hilarious. <laughs> Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer, but after hearing how great it was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. And, unless it gets like really, like really like... When it's like you try to explain something and you're just like, he was standing there! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but, but then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost. Like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Froze in a place, murmuring to myself, looked down at the acceptance letter and clutched in my hand. I said there'd be a meeting, uh, it said that there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still wasn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. I gathered up all my determination. <laughs> 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 determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before and I took my first step towards the main hall after I played a little bit of Delta Room to try and get my determination up even more <laughs> we still haven't played it yet we're going to we promise <laughs> I kept myself from blind for that too me too I almost I accidentally almost spoiled myself because game theory loves to put itself like right there I know right anyway this is where I'm supposed to meet where we were supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant looking clock over in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. Meeting doesn't start till 8 o'clock, so there's a full 50 minutes. <laughs> He's the ultimate getting sick! I had the burp, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you said it right. <laughs> it's a perfect word. 8 o'clock! <laughs> Okay. It makes Keep sense. Going. It makes sense no one else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe they'll have to be comfortable with it. I am a student now, so there shouldn't be any problem with having a look around, right? It would help me kill time, if nothing else. Try to play it cool. Uh, I took my first step into the Pope's Peak Academy. It's also my first step towards uh, starting a whole new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Uh, 
Oh, uh, I shouldn't have drunk that whiskey. What the? Wait, but the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing into... In, 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 in. Oh. Ah! And mixing together with something into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. And that's how it all began. That's how I... That's how life, as I knew it, came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Yeah, if you couldn't tell by all the things I've said, the theme of this game is hope and despair. Fascinating. Uh, yes. I don't need to keep multiple save files, do I? I can just keep rewriting the same one? Yeah. Okay. If you want to keep an extra one just in case, that's up to you. All right. <laughs> What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. That's the last time I drink in El Paso. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some bored class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck's going on? As, uh, you, you, as you can probably see, there's something really fucked up. <laughs> uh, there's very paper mache. Uh, Welcome to Hope Speed Academy. First of all, I'd like to explain the basic controls. You use those mouse things just to aim, and you can shoot an object to interact with. I can shoot an object to interact with. You can, if you aim oh. at an object, Wait, you can, where did if, I see shoot? I thought for sure I saw it. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and press so you'll investigate that object. I forgot that. Oh, jeez. Use the WASD buttons to adjust your, adjust your viewpoint. <laughs> Or you can press and hold the right button, right, right mouse button, and... I don't understand what they were going for with that, and move the mouse around. Just go. Just go up. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Hold down the right button. What? The what button? The, the right mouse button. Now hold it down and look around. Right mouse button. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, it's on the V's. Oh. Um. Look at the windows. I can't. You you did. Right over there. See? I, I, there's things on the walls? Yeah, there's those, screws. There, there's the windows. There's giant metal things. There's nuts and screws. Ah! ah just like Friday night. Okay, well this is uh Alright, alright, now now click um, on the piece of paper. Real quick. Uh I would like uh sensitivity. Can I? I only get that from the main menu, can't I? Well, you can pause it, but I don't know what button it is to pause. Was that not the pause button? I don't think so. I don't know. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. I was just, it was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? There's a piece of paper. Yeah, but I'm looking at stuff. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in, I guess. Or, I guess I have to keep the, 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 the. I guess I have to keep. I guess they I have, have these. These to keep weirdos from just wandering in. <laughs> I shoot a question mark at <laughs> There's a TV. The high school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not weird to have TVs in here. Oh great, it's Batman Arkham Asylum all over again. I have to break them all! <laughs> Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Wow. Also, what's with this color scheme? Why is the, why are the why are the walls all yellow and stuff? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, fine, I'll read the paper. That's the desk I fell asleep on. You can still see a line of drawer on him. I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. But you never do. Hey, what's this on the desk? What's that on the desk? An orientation guide? Some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's some handwriting. Ha ha thing. Whatever. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this a bit of a. Someone's idea of the joke? Now no, no, click the windows. Oh, I can click the windows now. Yeah, now click them! What about the door? I better look around the bathroom a little more before I head out! Even Makoto's telling you! Fine. I'll fuck on the, which one? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. I'll click on the one very over there. What the heck? 
In any normal classroom, that'd be where a window, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Yep, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. <laughs> Half as thick as my dick. So wow. thick enough you'd need a fucking anti-tank rifle to pierce it. That would be extremely painful. That's also a Helsing reference. Let's keep going. Oh, I should have known that. <laughs> more importantly, more importantly, why are there metal plates in the windows? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here. If that's true, that must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But if that's true, this is raising more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates between the windows? It's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. Ugh. <laughs> I shrubby head back into the main hall. It's already past me time. There must, there might be other students there now. You can leave the crafts in the by pressing the R key. <laughs> what if I just click on the door? You can do that. Oh. Okay. Jeez, this hall is kind of weird too. It's getting stranger by the second. I oh, so have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Oh. The view AST keeps. Oh. <laughs> the first person game? Press okay. the tap key to bring up the map. Not that oh one. geez. Yeah. That's a classroom. And the classroom you were just in. The door won't budge. Well the door locked behind me apparently. Yeah, but now the door's locked. It's down. locked because you can't go in there right now. You have to meet the other. I'm people. looking around! I'm doing an investigate. Phoenix Wright style. <laughs> Juice. I wonder what this or this run just leads. I'm sorry, you feel sick standing here. Okay. Wait. What was that? Oh, that was probably screen. I can control the camera. Yeah. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Yeah. Well then, I'm not going this way yet. It's the only way you can go. You looked at everything. What? I didn't look at this. Despair Hotel? I think it's a place for people to stay overnight, but anyway, I need to main hall. <laughs> Despair Hotel. Oh yeah, I guess it's just a place for people to sleep. It is a hotel. A room? A room. It's locked. Alright. <laughs> uh, there's a thing over there. Cool. Hmm, this looks like a door I can open. The school store, I guess it's not open. Oh, you, you guess! Uh, <laughs> no, office. I need a band-aid! Oh, the nurse's office, of course. For some reason, I thought this was the love room. <laughs> you thought it's the place to have the babies? I mean, technically, if you're having a baby, that would be a place you would go. Yeah, okay. There's the lock. What? Who locks the bathroom? What if I have uh, to- People tried to get you into a specific room! I like how he tries it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the room I'm supposed to go to? The one yes. that's open? Okay, well then. The <laughs> I wonder why there's just a gate here. Jim. And it's locked! Yep. I just wanted to click on everything. Is that not allowed? Can I click on this? Okay. <laughs> Let me just shoot a question mark at the door. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> By the time we got to that, back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... <laughs> yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked at everyone who were down there taking in their faces one at a time. I probably didn't enunciate that correctly, but maybe I was just imagining it, but I could swear I feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Alright, let's see. Uh, how's it going? My name is Mike. Makoto? Makoto Naegi. Naegi. I can't. No. Naegi. Naegi. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I can't pronounce my own name. I've lived it my whole life. I, I never figured it out. <laughs> There's a voice in my head telling you how to say it, right? 
Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just get keep me keep me a little bit. <laughs> My voice is fucking up too. It's just <laughs> Things just keep getting curious and curious. Mm -hmm. So strange, I declare beyond the sound of doubt. This is a very strange situation indeed. Uh what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment! There is something else we must address! Listen to me! Makoto! Your tardiness is unacceptable! Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp! Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh looks like I have name Hold on, you haven't learned his name uh, yet! No, 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 I'm talking about uh, the fast guy with the My Hero. Oh, <laughs> oh no, uh, duh, 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 Ida! Yeah, I'm sorry, Ida! <laughs> To be late on your first day is unspeakable! I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment! What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any trouble over it. That's right! Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we go around... Why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now knows time for freaking introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it'd be good to, to at least know who we all are before digging into a bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. That, 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 that's a good point. I don't, we're, I'm gonna forget all of these boys. <laughs> oh, trust me, they're probably gonna change. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best just to try and focus on getting new each other for now. So I guess the good a chance as any as I'm gonna get. I already looked anyone's up. I, 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 I already looked everyone up on that Hoax Peak Academy thread online, but I still only know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Hey, you met a student. I'm just gonna shoot these students with question marks. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna shoot this first. That surprise camera looks like a gun attached to it. I read that wrong, but there's no way that gun is real, right? <laughs> Click on the door. Oh. Holy cow, what's up with that huge metal patch? It looks like something you can see in a secret military base or something. This is the same hall I lived before, right? This door definitely wasn't here then, though. Mailbox? There's nothing inside. I like how they're all waiting for him to, to should we should we talk to him? <laughs> this is There's another TV. There's a TV. The school is fine. Well, 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 it's, 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 it's the same, same thing. It's the same. I can't click on the trophies. That's weird. No. All right. I guess we'll start left or right. I'm cute. Do the hop. I believe. Yeah. Let's work together on our educational crusade. I love this guy. Kiyotaka Ishimaru, the ultimate moral compass. So that's Kiyo... Ki Kiyotaka. Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to a few famous private school. He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He is also known for the work he's done with the community's public morals community. They say he respects the rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right. This guy is kind of annoying. I like it that. <laughs> Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm T Toko. Toko Fukawa. <laughs> you, you should see his face right now. He's like, oh. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <I'm, what? laughs> That's your face. It's just like, just like this so surprised look like, oh. Yeah, I just, oh. I was not expecting such a nervous person. I'm sorry. I guess it makes sense though. Yeah. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking about that the that, 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 that. <laughs> This is what happens when I talk to girls, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Just go up to a girl. 
Hey girl, I'll put it in the air. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. That's not actually what happens. I'm not nervous around people at all because I'm not. You're not this girl. Let's find, find out more about her. Ah, she wrote a novel. Done two years ago. She wrote. She released. Ah! <laughs> she released. So lingers the ocean. A love story about. A love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly. Shot up to the top of every hottest men pole. That is. These ultimates have the greatest ability to mess with mass media. It is amazing. They have the ultimate weapons. Get it? Fisherman. Yeah, fisherman. Fisherman. Yes. Fisherman. Yes, some of them are strong. They have to carry huge nets and big ships. Okay. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she became known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would make you? Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> what else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type. What was all her masterpiece being romance and all? <laughs> What's your problem? What? what? It's, it's not polite to say, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. <laughs> filthy, filthy creature? No, I just thought. I, I know what you just thought. You, you just thought you'd ne never seen an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. <laughs> Don't bother trying to lie to me. <laughs> you do the voice so well. I know it's true. Other otherwise, you, uh, you, you know, I can't, I can't, you, you can't stand looking anyway. at me. Anyway. Whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. This is way off what a successful what a successful author would be like. <laughs> it's all the dirt I swear to God. Okay, which one next? She seems like she's important, so I'm taking her for last. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> Facecam. <laughs> Maybe this is the series. <laughs> Maybe this is the series we get face cam. Okay. 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 Hold on, let me calm down first. Okay. Okay, so I hear other people look at him and says he looks like a chipmunk, but personally I think he looks like Ham Taro. Yeah, I <laughs> If I forget his name, I'm probably just gonna call him Ham Taro. I have no idea how to even do this. <laughs> your face! <laughs> the ultimate fanfic creator. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> By the way, do you know how much of this... Do you know how about the... How much do you know about the world of Sea Knights of Tuni Art? <laughs> Hated the event. How stupid can you be? <laughs> you look like a chestnut too, with like his face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's with the alfalfa point? <laughs> from like, he, he, he reminds me of that Pokemon, like Watch Watchdog or something. Watchog. Yeah. Oh my God, he died. <laughs> okay, keep reading. Keep reading. <laughs> but selling ten thousand copies is like, 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 like that. Selling 10,000 
10,000 copies like that <laughs> is definitely a pretty remarkable. However, the word that sets idiots mean nothing to me. I am like a Van Gogh. A Van Gogh? Yes, A Van Gogh. <laughs> Don't you know the other Van Goghs? Yeah, it's just right. talk, it's just going, hey, Van Gogh! <laughs> I'm really unappreciated in my time. I'm a soldier, serving every night and day to destroy mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nayagi. <laughs> you would have <laughs> <Think of inconception. laughs> okay. probably had his grace. In de- in de- in de- immediately. immediately. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Taka. <laughs> For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. What, what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing your basest urges. I don't <laughs> think I want to comprehend it. <laughs> Leon Kuwata. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Who, did you voice this guy? Or, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm voicing this guy. <laughs> I don't want to voice this guy. <laughs> Oh, hey, that's Incineroar. <laughs> yeah, it is Incineroar. It's a baseball star. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs in, as their clean leader. The ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all... Break. What? Are you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found the article and uh, that picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. I'm like... Make it embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. Jeez. But now I refuse to cut my hair. And I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know, I don't like baseball. Like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced? And yet he who is still his team's star player? He's a kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm going to be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after a dream is like... Super cool to the max. I forgot drummer for some odd reason. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that. Something something like that from a baseball all-star. And then I voiced her too. Oh, boy, Hi, okay. I'm Sayaka Maizona. I look forward <laughs> to getting to know you. Ultimate pop sensation. Oh, you're in. Okay. Well, the way she moves. No, in fact, wait, the breath. The way she moves is positively, pos, pos, positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant, pleasant. <laughs> I forgot the word pleasant for a second. I thought you were looking at the phrase itself. Oh yeah, you know what? That is a weird phrase. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Say- Sayaka, Sayaka Myzono. Myzono. Yes. When I heard her name in the thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. There's a high one again, just off in the right. <laughs> I'm just a backup singer. No one cares about me. <laughs> their, their, their dresses are like way too short. It's Japan, of course it's too short. Uh, Japan, I love you, but I also... Uh, okay. She's a, the, eh, she's in a pop star group famous all across the country. In fact, she's a lead singer. The ultimate pop sensation! She's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason now I was so surprised if I thought she'd be going to the school. I'm sure you can remember it, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she really is beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. Does he know her in a past life? Or like, like in... Hold on, I don't know, like school or something. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? Uh... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. 
<laughs> I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Huh. Hey, by any chance... Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on! <laughs> Jeez, you guys! How long do you plan on wasting our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? I had more of a conversation with the nerd! <laughs> that conversation dragged out way longer! I know, right? <laughs> um... <laughs> Sorry, I just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself! Not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat! Tell that to Chestnut over here! <laughs> you, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sa Sayaka. Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll ever see each other again. Oh, it's not like we'll never see each other again. It's not like we'll ever see, ever see each other again. Bye, it's nice knowing you. Have a good life. <laughs> like you said, we can talk later. Oh, jeez. Springy. Okay. Uh, this one looked like the one that was on the, uh... The... What do you call it? Title screen? The, technically they were all on the title screen. But they were? Yeah. There's, there's, there's the main you, character and then there's this girl. Yeah, but the thing is, like, when you when you boot it up, it, so it's a random character. Oh, really? Yeah. Sometimes you get Monokuma, sometimes you get Junko, sometimes you get Bouncy McTits over there. Oh. Okay, well, I thought she was important because I... Okay. No. Oh, but she's not important? Wow. Like, they're all important in their own way. But like, Makoto's the only one you really need to worry about. Okay, so we have a choice of ponytail, snake head, uh... It's a corn cup! <laughs> Is she, what do you call him, a gothic Lolita? No. Well, maybe not a Lolita, but a gothic whatever. No, she's the ultimate fashionista. You saw her All right, in, right. in the... Yeah. yeah. When, uh, when Johnny and I played, um... What was it called again? You'll, you'll see what a gothic Lolita yeah. looks like. When Johnny and I played Occupus Strip, I beat the shit out of every gothic movie that I saw. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then you... Uh, then we got bland, just bland. And, uh, white hair. And really means Pantene. Her hair is, like, super messed up. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, let's pick one. With you, I guess. Hey, uh, I'm Aoi Asahina. But my friends just call me Hina. <laughs> I voiced this one too! Did you really? I did! Because you kept voicing like three in a row! Oh, right, right. I, oh, I love. Uh, Owie. Owie? Asahina. Asahina. Yeah. She's been breaking records in every competition like she's been in after, And she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an appearing a Olympic <laughs> cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro! The combination of her ability, appearance, and, um, proportions has been widely discussed <laughs> <See>? online. <laughs> Bouncy McSet? Bouncy Mc... Uh, yeah, I forget what I called her. There's something makes something kits. Is this what... Is, is this really what normal people recognize, like, right away? Yes. Why? Because they stick out, literally. <sighs> I... I... Okay. Okay. <sighs> this, so, uh... What was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Uh, Makoto Naegi. 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is... You that. got it! <laughs> sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah! Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. You just kept repeating... Repeating? Repeating? <laughs> I'll repet you, cat. <laughs> She's like, thank you. <laughs> uh, I, she just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? Oh my god. You oh, don't know? To what? I pet her a little bit and now she's demanding more pets. <laughs> you don't know? If you haven't remembered someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard that before in my life. Okay, honestly, I've never heard it before either. <laughs> hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry if he was at home, but Jesus, that was great. <laughs> That's not very helpful, my <laughs> Okay. That's not I need a drink. I need a drink. <laughs> Um, 
Well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, sure. Same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. And a dumbass! I also voiced this guy! <laughs> well, let's keep him coming. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. Oh, good. This guy by, by the way, by the way, he has one of the greatest, like, voice clips. And I really want it as a as a ringtone. Like, you'll hear it later. I'll, I'll point it out. I was just saying, there's cussing in this game, so we don't have to worry about cussing, because it's already cussing. Fuck yeah! Yeah. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest baker gang in Japan! Baker? Baker gang! Baker gang! <laughs> he makes cupcakes. They're amazing. <laughs> He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader! Ellipsis. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I better be careful on him. One wrong word and I can wake up the bottom of the sea. Stereotype. Hi! Uh, Hi, huh? I'm Jumbo uh, and Ishima. <laughs> I forgot that they voiced their first words. <laughs> they, yeah, they voiced their first words. Like... Junko Enoshima. Ultimate fashionista. Anyone would... Anyone would... <laughs> anyone would... Would... Magoto's like, come... Magoto's like, hey boy, stop fucking it up! Recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista! I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match it up to reality. What? Come on. Uh, are you talking about my cover photo, Sujong? <laughs> well, of course. Those are just totally Photoshop. Photoshop? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so they aren't real. Yeah. What can we do? Yeah, totally Photoshop. Don't, don't believe the ones on the internet. No, no, it's, I didn't I didn't go to New Orleans, I swear. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, come on. Don't act so surprised. You're going to make me all depressed. Kitty. Why do you want so many pets? <laughs> I thought you were talking to her when you said kitty, like, whoa. <laughs> no, I'm talking about my actual cat. <laughs> Hi, eagle. <laughs> it's just totally normal these days to use Photoshop and crack all of them. And, 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 and just Photoshop and crack all of the camera photos. If you're surprised by, if you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin off those all previous creamers. You really need to slow down. I really do. <laughs> Ceramic and porcelain. Oh, oh, eh, oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. I know, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I voiced her as well. Ellipsis. 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 Um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Ultimate question mark? Question mark? She doesn't tell you. <laughs> She's a uh, pretty tight lip, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that post you got a thread. I did see that there's some students like me, the ones who don't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Rude. Um, so what are you doing at school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant like, getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. You put emphasis so on I the wrong. I don't have to. Damn it! <laughs> 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 there are little voice in her head is going, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Just think about her turn up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, there's no more nasty. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. <laughs> Your face is like, oh, she's adorable! <laughs> was I voicing her again? Yeah, she's working on it. Sorry, I just kind of get a little embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? M maybe it's just my imagination, but ha have we met before? 
Um, I don't think so. Uh, we just met for the first time, which is why I said, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, good point. Sorry. You, you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chihiro. Chihiro. Fujisaki. Fujisaki. Thank you. Yes. Is known for all the cutting edge programs she created. She's the ultimate programmer. She also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to the... her legion of fans. Her legion of fans. Um. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> protect. 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 Hey. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Hey, so listen. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. I'm really sorry. Huh? What? What? Are you, what? Are you, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine everyone off screen like laughing their asses off. Just like, man, the player's fucking this up so much. <laughs> well, just because you seem upset, you must be mad at me, right? No, no, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Pervert. <laughs> Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. Protect. 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 I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why your fans are so into her. Oh, jeez. Bouncy motherfuckers. You see you see the one to the right? Yeah. That's what's classified as Gothic Lolita. Gotcha. Okay. Be the shit out of her. <laughs> Pound her in the next... <laughs> Which one do you want to... Which one do you want to talk to? Uh, I... Do you want to I, talk to... Just... Wait, 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 hold on. Do you want to talk to Hulk, Richie Rich, they'll sell you weed, or Vampire Lady? I am, for some strange reason, drawn to this man over here. I am Sakura Ogami. I was not expecting <laughs> that voice. <laughs> it's because she's a girl! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I mean... Please let me voice her! Go ahead. Okay, okay, come on, keep playing! I'm not, I'm not done. Just, like, the ultimate martial artist. That's pretty cool. You know what? Good on her. Yeah. Ah, oh, jeez, I almost asked her if she, if she was a guy. You did ask if she was a guy! <laughs> <laughs> the day I turned... The day I turned... The, the day, day I, I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. Like that one guy from My Hero Academia could do. Yep. <laughs> but now that I remember, she completed a, a competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. America. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit, bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. <laughs> Shrek. I don't know. <laughs> Donkey! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Some of you think she's the closest known relative to the primates? Monkey. Wow! <laughs> the fade wow! missing link. That's really mean. <laughs> but accurate. Can I take a drink? Any incoming coke speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. <sighs> Standing right in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Uh, I, I make, uh -huh. Yes? I make her voice when I want. <laughs> okay. I sat her attention without even realizing it. She started to poke and prod at my body. Uh, what are you... I see. Muscular quantity and quality are, is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. <laughs> what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Alright, somebody tells me he's gonna be born, so. I do not think we have. I already hate you. I am Celestia Ludenberg. I already hate you. <laughs> She's my favorite character! I'm not even joking about that. I love this character. Fine, I'll give her a chance. Yeah, it, and by the way, you were voicing this girl before. Fuck! <laughs> Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg, it's my name. But if you don't mind, I'd never heard you call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, can you tell me your real name? 
Hey, hi. I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. Yeah, you said it before. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite. She's pretty forceful. At the same time, I don't think she wants to say any more about it. And it's the rumors that started were right about her. By the way, if if you didn't see it, she's the ultimate gambler. Oh. Oh no, it's gonna be like that one anime <laughs> where people get their dicks chopped off. <laughs> okay, come on. The, before I before I lose my shit again. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. That's the easiest name to say. No wonder he thought she wasn't Japanese. Yep. That because I, I have no trouble with that name. It yeah, sounds, I have to help you with everything else. It sounds German. Yeah, it just keep reading. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what just happened there. My, my mind kind of just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Everything about her was wrapped up in a veil of lies. Um, they say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, entering the title Queen of Liars. That's kind of weird. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. It is like that anime! <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. Fuck off. <laughs> I like her though, look at that smile! That's an innocent smile! Yeah, but it's also a lying smile. It's a lie. I don't trust her. That smile is beyond deceptive. He even, he even says it! <laughs> I better watch myself around her. Okay, after yeah, I, 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 I said I'd voice this guy. Hero right. for short. Take it easy, yeah? As I call him, we'll sell you weed. That's racist. It's not racist, he's white! I guess that's true. His hair just looks like, hey, I'm smoke and I don't care. Uh, yes. Yasuhiro. Yasuhiro. Hagakure. Hagakure. Known as Supernova in the psychic community. The trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. I was not a, okay. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really get into that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help but wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, uh, okay. I give up. Huh? What happened? Serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm. Chasing after Bigfoot, running off with a skyfish in its mouth. You think you're a guardian angel? No, he sees one. Well, it said that he had. He said it had a crazy perm, and he has a crazy perm. That's yeah. not a perm. That's that's marijuana hair. That's that's silver hair. Silver so like that. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. And <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But hey. We should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemura and its civilization. He does smoke! <laughs> wait, 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 wait for it. Keep playing. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see, and... Well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. <laughs> Richie Rich! Name is Piafia Togami. I'll voice it. No. I wanted you to. Ultimate okay. affluent progeny. He's a dick! Uh, hi, it's nice to meet you. That's the most half assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the Ultimate students, this one is special. Oh, fucking shit! <laughs> Biakuya? 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 Kuya? Kuya? Yeah, Biakuya? Biakuya? Togami. Togami. Yes. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive- Oh my goodness, hi Katie! <laughs> I keep thinking I talked because I'm looking at the screen for you to say that! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are, well, fast. He, this, this, his title of Ultimate Affluent Prodigy is completely accurate. He's a definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about. Why can't I say about? <laughs> Cause you keep going too fast. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope Speak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with introductions. No, I'm... we're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you gonna stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, 
you and I will never stand on the same level like a king in training. I could probably do his voice better, but I'll work on it. And with that, introductions are all done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Oh, and... <clears throat> okay, time... I gotta do his voice better. Like, there's something I gotta... Think a rich prick. Okay, time to get down to business. Hmm. Yes! Okay. There's no time to stand around making fun of f making friends like a bunch of dull eyed bu 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 baboons. <laughs> you need to slow the hell down. Why do I? I don't know why I talk so fast. I really don't. It just, I just kind of do. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that all about? Um, listen. <laughs> well, you see. Uh, um. Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened, then you were just, just asleep. asleep. Right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? <laughs> Just after we, each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but, but that's just weird. Every one of us would get knocked out like that. Kitty? Kitty, why do you want so many pets? Because she wants to be on camera for the three, two, one. Uh, is this a good place to stop, or should we keep going a little bit? Uh... The prologue's not that long. Not too much longer, so we might as well just keep going till the end of it. Alright. Piece of shit! That's it! That's the voice of what I wanted! Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out, piece of shit! Wow! And that's not the only thing. You all, you saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, I like, stop spitting, even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PD anywhere, either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is ple completely blocked by some giant metal hatch, and there's fucking guns here! But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing here? There. Um, uh, wait, maybe that kind of, it's a kind of, you know, crime or something. Is it? Like... What? Like a kidnapping? Do you think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What they the put hell? guns in front of our face! <laughs> well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night. So I could use a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then it began. Wait for it. Oh, it doesn't do the full thing. No. It's a bear! Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? <laughs> Your face, like, me? that voice? Oh, really? That voice? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Are you going to voice him? Why not? I'll do it. I'll be Monokuma. Okay. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene at, at, at the scene of an accident. That was right, yeah. At the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. Oh, and by the way, just just to ready. tell you, you're not able to go into any other door besides the gymnasium, so don't try. Fine. <gasps> what the hell was that just now? By? Well, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey! What, are you just gonna take off like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, <laughs> now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? Alright, I guess I'll head out too. 
wonder what they got planned for us next. Maybe I'll get some munchies, you know. I turned into a ghost. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Damn, and I was totally looking forward to that nap, too. Might they have to go kill the moon? Huh? Oh, wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you all then. Anyway. <laughs> Not that anyone cares, but well, I'm going to go, too. I went to go to the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That an easy feeling I had before, I couldn't get out of my mind. It looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um... This... this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However... Maybe, just... But just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, are you all a bit, a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Yes, I will say. And on that note... Yeah, right now we should probably end the episode right now. Yes. So we'll see you guys in the next video.